Hello everyone. Now this video will teach you how to use the new SAS hard drive data recovery adapter to recover the master data from the SAS hard drives. Now we can check this is a uh, SAS to SATA cable. As this is the popular data recovery hardware, the DFSRP all-in-one data recovery hardware. Because this hardware has just SAT ports and IDE ports. So in order to connect the SAS hard drives, users need to use this special SAS to SAT adapter. Now I have connected this and we can try to enter the software. Now DFDDP data recovery software. Power on. New project. Okay, before we set up this new project, we can try to use the hex view, get ID information. And we can see this is the model number, the SN, the firmware version. And we can view sector, this is the sector zero, partition mark. So the SAS hard drive ID information has been detected here and the users can view sectors and we can try to scan the data arrow to see the house status. Click OK and we can see uh, this, these are the sector house information. There's some kind of uh, denied sectors here detected. Uh, we can click stop and we can try to set up a new project for disk image. Click next. Create VHD. Create. Click finish. Now, before we start the image of this SAS drive, we can try to adjust the settings a little bit to enhance the disk image speed. We can use intelligent read Click OK. Now we start the image. And here we can find out the SAS drive imaging speed here. We can try to Extract master files directly from this SAS drives too using the DFDDP data recovery software. Now we simply click this file extraction. So this is the partition available within the SAS drive. Now we double click and here we can find out the SAS drive, the lost files, and lost partitions here. So users can simply select the wanted files and right click to save them or recover selected files. So this one is very easy to use this new SAS to SATA adapter to connect like this hardware connection picture and then users can 
image this SAS drive or extract SNOS files from this SAS drive. We can try to use the DFLWD firmware repair software to see if we can read the firmware information from, from this SAS drive. Now we check this one, click WD. Please note that the DFLWD firmware repair software is mainly for SATA drives and IDE drives, but this is SAS drive, their protocol is different. So when we try to use the ATA data recovery or firmware repair hardware to read the SAS firmware, there is kind of limit. Now let's try to enter the program. Let's see what happened. This firmware repair software can detect the hard drive ID information here, but we can see that cannot read the firmware modules. This is because this is SAS drive, and this DFWD firmware repair software is meant for ATA drives, not SAS drives. Anyway, we can try to check the defects. Smart, and we can try to view smart logos. Smart information is obtained successfully. So we can see this is what we can do with this new SAS to SATA adapter. This one is very smart and helpful to get SMART data off the SAS drives. Thank you for watching the video.